In this tutorial, we will see what is the difference between ended and continuous members. First of all, let's check what we have on the screen when we create a new member. At the right side of the screen, we have all the properties relevant to this element. I can see the name of this member as M1 here, and I have the cross section I have uploaded. You can see all the sections you created in this model, here in the drop down list. And also using the pencil, I can overwrite the cross section. That means, if I overwrite the cross section using the pencil icon to change the section, the other elements with the same cross section will also be modified. If you want to change the section of a particular element, you have to use this plus icon. In the case of having asymmetric cross sections like in this example, I can get the mirror of the section with respect to the Y or Z axis. Here is another important feature named geometrical type can be continuous or ended, as seen. Let's take a closer look at what this means. If you have a red cover at the ends of the element, the software consider that the structure is continuous in either direction. This is valid for when the loads in equilibrium functionality is on. If you switch of it and select continuous geometrical type, you will see red covers on both ends. Let's switch on loads in equilibrium again. If you have a beam to column connection, you can consider the column as a continuous member and the beam as an ended member. Ended members are supported on one end and continuous members are supported on both ends. To understand better, I am going to change the cross section. First I select HEB300 and also I am going to add new members. When I add a new member, the software use the features of the last member I specified. And I choose a new cross section, and it is going to be IP360 beam. Lastly, I am going to add one more beam and in this case, I prefer HEB300 again. We can access all the cross sections in this drop down menu used in the model, as I mentioned. Before positioning these three intersecting elements, I want to change the default names of the members. To do this, right click and click on rename. So, change the names as column, beam 1 and beam 2, respectively. Moreover you can copy or delete all the members by right clicking here. Now all we have to do is position all the elements correctly. To position the column, we can use the position module. As you can see, I have three rotations and three displacements available here. With these three parameters, we can place all the members the way we want. If you do not know exactly how these parameters affect, it is not a problem. Just try some values and undo it, if it is not the change you want. For example, write 30 here to the first rotation. This is a rotation with respect to the vertical axis, and that is not what we are looking for. So undo it, and write 45 to the second rotation here. That looks better, and if I make it 90 I can position the column on the vertical axis. So it is done. We can see that, both of the beams go against the column. To fix it, we need to change geometrical type as ended. It is similar for the second beam. Since the beams are still on the same position, we need to modify the orientation of the second one. Because we tried before, the correct parameter which needs to be changed is the beta angle. So I put 90 and we are going to assume that, we want the top points of these two beams to be at the same level. Consequently, either beam 1 moves down or beam 2 moves up. Now I am going to put the smaller beam up. So how can I know which direction should I use? If I click on local coordinate systems button here, I see the local axis of this beam. So in this case, right axis is Z. And what should be the amount of displacement? We used IP360 in HEB300, the total difference is 60. So the displacement has to be 30 positive. If I have a look from the side again, I can see that they are on the same level. Alternatively, we can do the same with using the line drop down menu. To do so, let's undo the last action we did. And, Select to member plate in this drop down menu. After that, two more lines will appear. First line specifies the plate of the member that you want to move, and the other shows the plate of the element to be referenced. So select beam 2 top flange 1 and beam 1 top flange 1, respectively. 
so we did the same process differently. 